so what we are using for this project to install these three by six subway tiles on our backsplash obviously need the tiles. We went with a Schluter aluminum white trim to cap it off on the top instead of a bullnose. Some people like bullnose. I think the, the aluminum looks really nice. We're using a type one mastic. This is map high. If this is your first time tiling uh, for a backsplash, mastic is gonna be the way to go. You have a lot more working time rather than mortar. So that adhesive is gonna dry very nicely. You could even grow out the same day. Uh, just make sure you read your directions on how big you can go on each tile, but it's gonna be perfect. What we're going ahead and doing is just using a small trowel and we are back buttering the back of the tile. You can try to just do your wall. I found that on a smaller wall, at least the one I just did behind us, it was easier with the small trowel back buttering. You're gonna get plenty of contact. You know, these aren't, this isn't a shower tile, so they're pretty light, they're gonna stick. And now what I'm cutting uh, the tile with is just this. It's a cutter, basically. It's not, it's just like a razor blade wheel and then it pops. Um, I do have a tile saw outside because you're gonna have to do some cuts to get around your light switches, uh, unless you're gonna nip away. Good luck with that. But, and then I have just a little hacksaw here to cut the aluminum trim. So you're gonna have to buy some things, but uh, you're gonna have a nice backsplash for a good price here. I've been putting this off for way too long, ready to knock it out. Uh, we have some white grout, some pre-mixed stuff because it's really not that much of an area. I have our Hupar self-leveling laser here. So I just put it up to the top of the tile here, right above it, and uh, basically I slid this all the way down and at no point would it be higher. So what that helps us with is this will be the highest point. So down there was a tiny bit low, so I can shim the bottom and bring it up to that line. Um, but that's a good starting point. We'll get our base. You need to have your base be perfectly level or else your whole thing's gonna be off and you're gonna be having a nightmare. So take your time, make sure it's level, and we'll get to it. We are staggering these tiles with one third, so it's gonna give us a little diagonal pattern. Uh, I think it should be pretty nice on this other wall uh, where it opens up a little bit more. Wear your gloves and we are using an eighth inch spacer here. These ones don't have lugs on them, so we'll have to use spacers. And what we're gonna do is I just spread them all the way out through the whole project length and uh, that way you're not grabbing for your bag trying to figure out where that is. They do make better spacers, like small little things. I just have this leveling system uh, that I had left over and they actually worked perfect for this. If you had to go a little incremental, then you would want to get the specific ones for that. They're like little wedges uh, for tiling. Make sure your back buttering is consistent, the same direction the whole time. Uh, what I like to do is come wipe off the excess and the edges because that's gonna spill over into your cracks and then fill it up and then you're gonna be ended up wiping it off. So it's better to take it off before you put it on. It gives you a cleaner look. Less work for you. You're gonna get a certain amount. So we're gonna push it in and we're just gonna do this whole first base row. So I'm gonna just wipe that stuff off um, so it doesn't dry there and clump up. By the time we go all the way down and then come back, that's gonna be pretty dry. So let's keep going. All right guys, got a little late last night, had to cut it off. We are gonna do one more row with the trim on top and then up here, we're going all the way up to this hood. So I've made lines on where the trim is gonna land and then we'll put our tile on from there. So when you're going around light switches, you don't necessarily need to measure it or use a measuring tape. What you can do is just put it here with your spacing and then make that mark at the bottom and then go like this and you just mark right there. And that's gonna be a pretty good fit. What I did, as you could see before, I just drew with the light switch plates on, or the uh, covers on, I drew a line, so that way we know where we have to get inside of on that line. So that way you don't have a gap around your light switch. This one, we had to notch one, and then the full cuts for here, 
uh, we got lucky that it lined up perfectly right there. This just ended up being a sliver. That would be a huge grout line, so we went ahead and made that sliver cut. It's gonna look way nicer than just leaving a nasty gap in the end. This is just a hard piece, hard to place, hard to, uh, to get in there, but it's gonna look really nice. Before I start here, I'm gonna make my cuts on our trim pieces because it needs to go in first, and then you'll just slide it down into place uh, once you get your tile in, that way it's a perfect fit. I'm gonna drop a link down below to where I got that little handsaw and guide piece. Uh, if you're not making a lot of cuts, it doesn't make sense to buy a blade or whatever. So that's easy and uh, it's pretty cheap. So check it out down below. Just went ahead and cut one, two, three pieces and then we'll leave that last one over there. That's gonna go in with that and then our verticals. We'll make those cuts after we have everything in place and let's knock it out. Let's freaking go. Last piece is in there. I think it looks pretty mint. Just gonna let this dry for a little bit, prep the rest of this stuff, and then uh, what I gotta do is go around with just a razor blade and scrape all this junk off of here. There's the like the wax or glue that comes with the pack in the packaging. But then you also have some of the leftover mastic like this. So so we just got this all cleaned up. I went ahead and just cut back our boxes. If you're gonna do this and you're planning ahead, uh, I would buy those boxes. They're like $3 a piece, and you screw them in and out, and they'll adjust to your your depth of your tile or your wall. We didn't do that. Definitely wish I would have spent the extra money on that, so that's a tip there. Going to start grouting, and uh, make sure you wear gloves. Get it in there nice and deep. Make sure it's packed in there. And uh, yeah, clean off as much as you can. They say clean as you go, so we're using the white Mappi uh, pre-mixed stuff. Gonna get you a perfect consistency. 
it's a relatively small area of tile, so I'm just gonna wet these tiles down real fast before we start. Mm -hmm. 